Rock and roll and guitars are an obsession for Lou Skinner. He's not your average guitar player or collector. Lefty Lou Skinner is one of Newfoundland and Labrador's rock and roll pioneers. First band was uh, four teens, there were four of us. And then it was the five teens. Somebody quit at 14 and uh, the hell with this, we gotta get a name, right? So I came across a pack of candy back in the late 50s, 59, I think, and I said, I suppose to pronounce it ducats, but now uh, being new for land, ducats, I say it the way I look at it. Uh, so that's what we went with. That's how we come up with the name. Playing guitar, I got started about 1955. And as soon as uh, Elvis came on the scene and Johnny Cash and all these guys, right? that's when I got started in learning how to play guitar and trying to get, trying to do something with it. I got to learn to play the guitar and then I got to get on stage playing it. I like that idea of people admiring what you're doing. I like the idea of making some money with it. Collecting, I got into that in the mid-70s. I got a guitar here uh, that my grandmother gave me for passing grade eight. Some people dispute that. I, I did get grade eight. When he wasn't rocking out on stage, Lou Skinner was buying, selling, and trading guitars with collectors all over the world. One day he received a call about his rare 1963 Gibson J180 Everly Brothers signature guitar. Max Cormie, Max was in Wales. He said, Luke, I understand you got a guitar there in Everly Brothers and all that. I said, yep. He said, I got a friend of mine up here that uh, I do some work with. Uh, Paul McCartney is interested in buying it. So they're doing a video of yesterday and uh, He's going to be sitting on the bar stool. Linda's going to be on the floor. You get the picture? I said, yeah. He said, well, you got the only left hand that everybody was guitar. And he loves that guitar. He loves those guitars, but he don't want to buy a new one. I said, okay. I said, I'll tell you what. You have the money in my account in the morning, and I'll sell it to him. Oh, my God. Good, he said, we'll be back to you. 11 o'clock next morning. Girl called me from Bangin' Nova Scotia and said, Mr. Kinner, we got $10,000 here for you. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Guitars may come and go from his collection, but one thing that'll never leave is Lou Skinner's love for playing. Nobody in the world can master the guitar. Every time you pick it up, you learn something different. Every time you pick it up, you learn you're playing something wrong. And all the guitars got a different story. They all play different. They all sound different. Keeps me busy. 